Hello and welcome everyone. In this series of videos, we are working on various labs for AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator Examination. All the videos, all the labs are available from Microsoft Learning on the GitHub and I'll give you the link at the end of this video. Uh, we were creating a, a single video for each task just to keep the video short and manageable. In the last five videos we have created, we have completed all five steps. We started with creating an Azure app. Then we created a staging environment for our deployment. And then we configured the staging environment. We created a custom user who can use that. And we, we, we created a deployment environment using local Git. And then we deployed the code to the staging environment. In the last lab that we completed, we swapped the code from the staging to the production. And in this lab, we're gonna finish up the lab with the task six, which is configure and, and test auto scaling of Azure Web App. So let's get to the task. Okay, so let's, uh, in this task, we, you will configure that and test auto scaling of Azure Web Apps. On the blade displaying production slot of the web app, in the setting section, select scale out app service plan and click custom auto scale. So let's go to our environment. And so this is the web app that's running right now. Uh, again, if you go to the app services, you see only one web app that we created to uh, for this lab purpose only. And if I click on this web app, and go to the deployment slot. We have two deployment slots. One is the staging and this is the production. Uh, so let's say on the blade displaying the production slot in the setting section. So let's, uh, where is our setting section? Here is the setting section. And we want to go to scale up or scale out. Which one we're gonna use, let me take a look scale out so we're going to use the scale out so auto scaling you can use any of this but for this lab I'm going to use the scale out because that's what is required by the law uh, and then we're going to use the custom auto scale so you can do manual auto scale and you can uh, use this instance count and it will automatically uh, you know use intelligence to uh, auto scale your web application but we're going to use the custom auto scale and configure it as per the lab requirement so once this is done you also have option to scaling the web manually okay uh, leave the default option scale based on metric select selected and click add a rule so so this one we need to add a rule and let me check one more time leave the default options scale based on a metric so we are using custom auto scale scale based on a metric so where is my scale based on a metric oh is this okay scale mode so what is the scale mode is the scale based on a metric or you can also do scale to a specific instance count so we're gonna keep leave this as it is so we'll still use the scale based on a metric and then we're gonna add a new rule and this is the rule what we're gonna we're gonna configure as per the lab so metric score is the current resource metric source is the current resource that's good time of aggregation is maximum time of aggregation is maximum now if you remember in few labs before we have configured the load balancer and they had kind of similar setting uh, for the auto scaling as well uh, metric namespace app service plan standard metrics app service plan standard metrics so that is already there cpu percentage metric name cpu percentage that's also good operator is greater than operator is greater than and then metric threshold trigger scale action is 
okay and then duration in minutes is one is already selected time grain statistics is maximum is maximum and instance count is one is selected cooldown in minutes is five okay now note this this setting that we have is very very unrealistic okay obviously this is values do not represent a realistic configuration since the purpose is to trigger auto scaling as soon as possible without extended what wait period and then uh, click add and back on the app service plan service plate so let's click add and then this on this service plate specify the following settings uh, instance limit minimum so instance limit minimum is one maximum is two and default is one so we're happy with all the configuration they match with what the lab is asking us to do so click on save so that is saving our setting and again you can go to this notification bar and see if your setting is 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 being applied properly or not so it says it updated auto scale configuration and the green tick mark says yeah everything went well so let's close that and in the Azure portal, open the Azure Cloud Shell, go to PowerShell, and from the Cloud Shell, uh, we're going to run this command. So, we're going to uh, register or store our resource group name to this RG name variable. So, let's go back, open up our PowerShell, click on that one, and here's your Cloud Shell environment. Just give it a couple more seconds to load up completely come on Microsoft make it faster okay all right so it's coming so once this is done so let's read the lab so what it's doing and then we're gonna run this command gate easy way back resource group name and RG name so what's doing in this resource group it's gonna get the details of this web app and it's going to store all that information in that web app variable okay so now we have that so first we're going to run this command so that's store my uh, resource group name to this rg name variable now let's do this and uh, paste so now i'm storing my web app information in this particular variable and now from the cloud cell what we're going to do uh, run the following to start infinite loot that sends the HTTP request so this is what we want to start so that you know we are hitting the website over and over and over again and we're not going to close this window so it's as you can see it's sending hundreds of requests uh, to that web app and as a matter of fact uh, if I go back to the app service go back over here and you can see that uh, how many HTTP requests is coming in request some so you should see that that request sum is going to go up very very fast if you monitor these graphs at this time so let's go back to the lab minimize the cloud shell pane but do not close it on the web app plate in the monitoring section click process explorer so we were already at the right place where is our process explorer uh, let's go see if I have a monitoring in here a lot of time I just say process explorer so that's right there so let's go in there and while it's loading pro no process explorer facilitates monitoring of the number of instances and the resource utilization so here is my process explorer wow so we have this already monitor the utilization of number of instances for a few minutes you may need to refresh this page once you notice the number of instances is pressure to reopen the cloud shell pen and terminate script by pressing c close the cloud shell pen so here you can already tell that i have two instances running okay the one instance you have you are getting all of this thread count 
and working shared private memory how much is it's, it's used and since uh, the amount of request we are sending it already met our auto skill criteria it already deployed two different instances so at this time we have verified that the, our auto scale feature is working properly so we can come back to this lab and we can close this and once we close this in few minutes this should go back and you will only see one instance so uh, monitor utilization refresh this page we have already done that we have done that we have done that now you can wait for a couple minutes to see but but remember that we said that cool down is five minutes so i'm not going to wait for five minutes for this lab and we are going to end the lab pretty pretty soon uh, but before we do that uh, always remember to clean up your resources so that you are not incurring cost for the resources that you are not using um, and always this command we have been running for many many labs now so get easy resource group name and then you are passing this wildcat wildcard character so it will list all of the resource group that we have created for this particular lab so if we go in there open up the cloud shell one more time I just want to show you that it is going to list our resource groups so paste and if I click on it you see there is only one resource group that we have created and if I run the next command get is the resource group this is the same as the previous command so I'm going to pass the output of this command to this the next uh, partial command which is remove is resource group and four so it's not gonna ask you hey are you sure it's not gonna ask any anything like that and it's gonna run it as a background job and it will get the command execute as synchronously and uh, you will be able to run another parcel command immediately afterwards if you run it as a job okay let's uh, do a refresh one last time and uh, we can end the video right here I'm actually gonna pause for a second and say goodbye once I come back okay my friends I waited about five minutes I just wanted to see if this uh, number of instances drops down to one but it still has not so although we have stopped pinging that website uh, almost about five minutes back so just to understand the for all practical purposes it could take more than five minutes to stop the other instance and bring it down to only a single instance of the app service running but for the lab we have completed every single uh, every single step so we're gonna uh, run the final command to delete our app uh, resource group and we are going to end the lab right over here if you like this lab uh, please give me a like share with your friends and uh, good luck with the exam here is your last command it's now running in the background it's going to delete the resource group and our app service and everything deployed under that resource group will be lost i'll see you in the next video and we are going to start working on uh, the next lab next series of labs uh, let's take a quick look that would be on Azure Container Instances. So see you in the next lab. Thank you. Bye-bye.